my very first guest is a culinary rock star. At 33 years old, Kwame Onwachi is already a James Beard award-winning chef. The San Francisco Chronicle is calling him the most important chef in America. Now, I thought that was my title. <laughs> Well, Bon Appetit magazine proclaimed his debut cookbook, My America, Recipes from a Young Black Chef, the best cookbook of the year. And that is not all. His critically acclaimed memoir, Notes from a Young Black Chef, is being made into a movie, and Oscar-nominated actor Lakeith Stanfield is going to portray Kwame. All of these accolades and awards carry an extra measure of meaning for Kwame because his cooking is a tribute to his family's history, showcasing dishes with origins in America, the Caribbean, and Nigeria. Please welcome James Beard Award winner, Chef Kwame Onwachi. Kwame, come on out! There. Thank you, thank you. I am super excited to have you here. I mean, no pressure. I'm standing next to the best and most important chef in America. Well, you're the most important talk show host oh, in America, okay. right? And charming. Look at you. All right. So you just opened your restaurant, Tatiana, um, at the Lincoln Center. It's named in honor of your sister. Mm -hmm. I read that she did the quote ugly cry she when was. she learned that she this was, was blowing like, bubbles out of her nose. <laughs> it was warm. Oh God! Not bubbles out of her nose. <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, is it surreal? You're in the heart of the most important area in New York City with your restaurant in honor of your sister. Yeah. It is. It is. Honestly, you know, I I grew up in the Bronx. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's up? Um, I used to I used to sell candy on the subway right out of right outside of Lincoln Center. So it is definitely surreal when I walk up those steps, you know, and go to this restaurant that has my name on the outside of the yeah. building. Um, so it's cool, it's dope. So when they told me what you wanted to make, I could not have celebrated more because you are making, wait for it, oxtail shepherd's pie. I mean, I, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's launch in because they're ready. I'm gonna make uh, my oxtail marinade, which is like a mix of like jerk, a little bit of curry, yeah, yeah. A little bit of curry and then some house spice, which is, which is, yeah, it is. <laughs> Go ahead, Chef. Kwame. Which is my, uh, my family's like Creole spice blend. So it's oh. kind of mixing all of my traditions together. So we put that all in the blender. You marinate the oxtails. Now this is where it takes long, because you oh. gotta marinate it for at least 24 hours. Okay. I like to do two days. So do we, we add our, you So we'll be long? back in two days, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Whoa! Yeah, yeah. All right, so you have, we got our marinades, we're gonna add it to our cooking onions, right? So we're gonna marinate it, okay. and then uh, we're gonna scrape it off and sear it. You wanna get a nice sear. Okay. That kinda locks in all the flavor. Yeah. It, it also like makes sure it stays tender within. I love and that. And it has a little bit of texture on the outside. Okay, all right, I'm gonna follow you. All right, we're so on. that same pan that you sear the oxtails in, uh -huh. it builds a fond, all that protein caramelizes on mm. the bottom. And then we're gonna add some onions to that and then sweat that a little bit. Okay. And you're gonna get all that flavor from, from the bottom in there. Then you're gonna add all the stuff that you scraped off the oxtail, all that marinade. Oh, wow. We're adding that right back to okay. the pot. Cause you wanna build those flavors, right? Yeah. So you're gonna let this sweat. Okay. And then we're gonna add some chicken stock. Now right. I make my chicken stock with a lot of chicken feet. Now you have really truly been international with these recipes. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, we're all connected at the end of the day. Sure. And you can really cross an ocean on a plate. Mm. So, like, when you really get into the history of a lot of dishes, you can see where they started and, um, you know, what was happening in that point but in time. But your studying didn't just include a kitchen in the Bronx. No, no. I was in Africa for two years yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. I was in Nigeria. Yeah. In Nigeria, yeah. In Nigeria. I, was, I was a pretty bad kid. So my mom, my mom told me I was going on a two-week vacation. <laughs> and then uh, two years later, I came back. So. You came back two years later. All right, so, All right, we're gonna... so add the oxtails back to it. OK. We'll let that simmer uh -huh. for a while. We're going to add the lid on. OK. After about three hours, depending on the size of your oxtail, how much you have, you'll have beautifully braised oxtails. Wow. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to finish off the dish with Chef Kwame. His Oxtail Shepherd's Pie, I cannot wait. Plus, more potluck recipes that'll make you start the party off in the right way. We'll be right back. <laughs> so all
the recipes we're featuring today can be found on our website, TamaronHallShow.com. We are back with James Beard, award-winning chef and author of the cookbook, My America, Chef Kwame Onwashi, who is helping us with our festivities today. And we are making this oxtail shepherd's pie. We now have allowed our oxtails to cook down. Mm -hmm. The tenderness is there. You have a few more steps for us. Yeah, so you want to pick the oxtail off the bone. Let's put oh. um, this oxtail, picked oxtail, oh. in that vegetable mixture. Nice. Because we've reduced all that stock down, mm -hmm. um, so it's gotten really syrupy. Ooh. All oh. right. So we're mixing this all in with the vegetables. This is beautiful. Oh, and wow. then you're going to start to layer. So then okay. you can fill. Listen, I keep jumping ahead of Chef Kwame. He's like, okay, slow down, ma'am. <laughs> right, so you got, I've layered this. Yeah, so then you're gonna take your mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. So they're nice and creamy. Nice. Mm -mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and you actually serve this at the restaurant, a version of oxtails at the restaurant? Yeah, so I serve oxtails and rice and peas. Oh, at, at the, the restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. So you'll take this, uh -huh. you'll put it in the oven right. um, on a broiler and just let it get like nice and, and crunchy. crunchy. You'll top it with some chives. Okay. You know, again, I don't know if everyone heard, you sold candy outside the Lincoln Center as a kid. Yeah. And now you have one of the most celebrated restaurants in New York, there in that same spot. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty okay. dope. All right, now it's time for me to taste it. Mm. But, oh, that's good. Mm. Are you sold? Listen. <laughs> Let me slide on over here and tell you. <laughs> this, the flavors, the squash, everything, the texture of the oxtail, just, Thank this you. is a work of art. Thank you. And this is a work of art. Thank you. This is a work of art. Listen. Chef Kwame's oxtail shepherd's pie is incredible. If you're gonna try to cook this, you're gonna need to up your kitchen game because he did not come to play. He came to slay this kitchen today, and he did that. And so, we've got you covered, Tam Fam, because guess what? Chef Kwame gave me this gift of this delicious meal. I've got more gifts for you on my holiday wish list. Let's go over here. Okay. Are seasoned to perfection. He likes for you to make your own blend of spices. So we're gonna help you do that. We're gonna spice up your pantry. The Spice House is a purveyor of the finest spices, herbs, blends, and extracts from customers ranging from renowned Michelin star chefs to novice home cooks like myself. Their products range from everyday spices to rare varieties. They also have rubs and blends. You are all getting their essential spices collection valued at $150. Next up, if you want to impress your dinner guests with perfectly cooked meat and veggies, then you need Anova Culinary's Precision Cooker in the Kitchen. It's used by professional chefs for decades. Sous vide is a cooking technique that harnesses precise temperature control to deliver restaurant quality results. It works by circulating heated water in a pot, cooking food to the exact set temperature. A technique that ensures edge to edge perfection every time you make a meal. Tam Fam, you're all going home with a Nova Culinary Precision Cooker worth $245. All right, next up, oh my goodness. We've got the perfect gift for all you veggie lovers out there. And if you're not a veggie lover, this will make you love vegetables. Girl and Doug Farm curates the finest produce in the world for some of the country's most influential chefs. And now they're shipping to home kitchens with the mission of making game-changing ingredients easily accessible and approachable. Their farm to home boxes will help you craft meals that are memorable for your eyes as well as your mouth. Tam Fam, you're all getting Girl and Doug Farm's everyday box, which features seasonal vegetables like purple snow peas, firebird tomatoes, and squashini, all shipped to your doorstep. $15! Wow! Listen, thank you. Shout out to Chef Kwame. Go to TamaronHallShow.com to find his delicious oxtail shepherd's pie recipe. Kwame's cookbook, My America, available where books are sold.